Okay, one more backlog thing. I think I've only got about one more of those, and then I've got some actual like fun stuff to open that I got from Christmas time. So yeah, just bear with me. But uh, this is a tr new treasure chest. I'm assuming it's around Obsidian Flames time. I don't think this came out after Paradox Rift. I really don't know. This thing kind of just popped up in stores randomly. I didn't really know it was coming out. And then I uh, I was browsing like GameStop and they had it and I had my like uh, my gift card. Oh good, mine's dented in. I didn't even, re <laughs> didn't even realize that when I grabbed it. Um, yeah, this is like the treasure chest tins that they do every now and again. I, I guess this is this year's. It's probably like early or late 2023 collector's chest. Um, I guess the one interesting thing to note about these now is like all of the uh, Scarlet Violet products. They did add an extra booster pack to help justify the probably increased cost. But again, I used a GameStop five dollar off gift card, which kind of brought me down to uh, you know what the normal price of these usually is with five packs. For the older ones, again, you just need to be a GameStop Pro member and you get one a month. I don't know if they're changing it. I hear a lot of weird things with their policy. But uh, for now, yeah, I believe you could use it. I'll actually probably check it. I don't think I used my January one yet, if that's going to happen. So what comes in here is you get the three promo cards um, like you normally do. I'm really curious if they're going to have the fun border or if they're going to do the traditional Scarlet Violet, um, you know, hollow pattern. I'm really hoping it's the Cosmos foil. I'm assuming it is because these are probably promos. So without further ado, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm right. Yes, let's go. Oh, actually, hey, wait. First off, before we even touch anything else, that's pretty cool, actually. I know people don't like the Terra thing, but uh, I, I don't know. It's it's fine, whatever. It's a gimmick for this generation. That's a cool Charizard pose, actually. That's a sick coin. All right, cool, whatever. All right, first time I've liked a coin on one of these things in a long time. And then, yes, we do get all three of these promos. They have the very nice Cosmos foil going over the front of them. Hell yes. Oh, that's so cool. And these are, no. Okay, so yeah, yeah, these are like reprints of set cards, but they have the foil. How they consider things promos is very strange to me. Then again, I guess if it's like a reprint of an art, that's not considered a promo, right? So that's that's probably what the case is with these. Maybe I'm just dumb and I haven't really been thinking about it that hard. It's like a weird like, oh yeah, you got part of a swirl over there. Cool. There's your Mascarada one. Very nice. And then the last one's my boy. I don't even know what pose it is. Oh, it's the one. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm familiar. Also, what am I doing here? Let me just start putting these on the little shelf. We'll put it in display range in a second. Oh, I was wrong, too. Paradox Rift was out. <laughs> I suck at getting these things out. That was really bad. And then we have our Skeledurge. Very cool. Also from Scarlet Violet Base. Makes sense. I think all the starters had their full evolves in that set. Nice. More Cosmos foil things to add to my binder. Super happy about that. And then what are the six? I'm going to have to assume, I'm going to say two Paradox Rift, two Obsidian, and then two Paldea. Or maybe, no, 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 maybe two Scarlet Violet Base. Two Paradox, yeah, okay, I was right. And then, oh, Paldea, and maybe, no, no, I was 100% right. <laughs> yeah, they just did two of each. That that really doesn't shock me at all. I am happy that there's Paradox in here. I, I didn't think we were going to get that. Uh, and I, I don't know, I, I really like Paradox Rift. I think there's just a lot of fun art cards in there that I want. And then, ooh, okay, actually, good, solid sticker sheet. Solid sticker sheet, but let's hold on to those for one sec. Yeah, cool. Okay, get the starters in the Everything looks cool in this one. All right. <laughs> I usually don't like these chest things. This is this one's having a good time. I also like the dark uh, <laughs> symbol that they made for it. I think it's kind of comical and uh, cartoony and goofy. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. The fact they slapped down the Charizard and Charizard seeing so much competitive play. That's fine. And then we get big stickers of probably all the starters. I like the ones with their numbers on it. It almost feels like a sports kind of thing. Does Charizard get his number? No, he does not. <laughs> but the other guys do. The other guys definitely do. Cool. All right, these will be going to my mother for the preschoolers. Very nice. And we're going to move the rest of this stuff out of the way for right now. Maybe Jack can play with the, the treasure chest. I can't even really value it because it's freaking destroyed. Whee! I mean, I guess you could still use it. It's just like... If you wanted a nice, I, don't, I wouldn't bring that to lunch with it beat up and dinged as a kid. But then I was like more particular than most people. So without further ado, let's put these in their proper order. Yep, that's correct. That is the official correct order. You have to do it that way. I, I think at least anyway. I'm down to get a third Charizard <laughs> for real. Did I pull two on the channel or did I pull one on the channel? I maybe I haven't pulled that. No, no, I definitely pulled one because I think it was in my box, right? Um, the second one I think I just pulled with my buddy. And we we're just opening loose stuff. So, yeah, I've got, oh, Whooper, baby, let's go, and back Scalibur, that's fine. Chen Pao's seeing, like, so much less play now, though. <laughs> I think he's kind of just falling off. Maybe rotation, he'll still be chilling, but as for right now, he's kind of gone. I love these minimalist art cards. 
Um, Whooper is definitely no exception. It is literally just him in a mud puddle, happy as can be. He's taking a little a little dirt nap, but not in the the dead kind of way. Oh, you know what? I didn't need the energy actually. That's that's if anything was going to fall, that's the thing to do it. Let's move that into frame. We'll do this as our special stuff. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Let me get five more to open. I, I'm happy with the extra pack. I'd probably be less happy if I looked at how much I paid for this. But maybe it wasn't too bad. GameStop's usually tough, but I, I feel like... Maybe I had like two coupons or something. I remember there was like a reason where I was like, oh, okay, well, this is a lot. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I was never going to buy this normally for a video, so let's do it this way. Rookity, we're probably getting nothing. Yeah. There's a slacking in the set. When did that happen? Actually, let's throw, I'll throw all the energies down there. I'll find them later. What does he even do? Okay. Uh, if this Pokemon's asleep, flip two coins instead of wandering, check up. I don't, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much how he works normally in the games. <laughs> so that makes sense. I don't think we've ever had really a good slacking card. I don't even think anybody used the one that I go. I remember there's a slacking V. I feel like I saw it used in like one deck, but I can't remember what the utility was. Narmaka, Weasel, Bonesweet. Very cool Magnemite. We got Doug Trio, Houndstone, this man, Poppy. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Is that the is that the thing? Wait, hang on. Is that the one? How do I know? How do I know? get the fuck out of your energy? I don't want to look at you anymore. I I, I think that's the that's the art rare, right? Is is that the is that the good one? Why do I have everything I want out of Obsidian Flames? No way. Okay, that's the special uh, illustration, Greta. I think Gita. Uh, I can't speak. Holy shit, that's awesome. Oh, I really like it. That's really detailed. I like the sunlight pouring through the little banister beams onto the book. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, pff, sorry, Skeledurge. You're getting covered. That's for damn sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Obsidian Flames such an easy set to pull from? What is that? I, I really wonder what that's going for. I think that's like the chase card underneath Charizard, right? I think I'm not wrong on that. That's freaking awesome. Wait, did they... Oh, I really even looked at a lot of these art, this the set and the yeah, the art in these sets. I didn't realize the trippy guy. Oh, he's like on you know, a giant wheel. He feels like a hamster. Oh, that's fun. Oh my gosh, this is gr okay. I'm having a great time. Uh, maybe we can. No, no. I think that's. We might have used up all of our luck, to be honest with you, with that one. That. I don't. I don't think we could ask for anything more out of here. Ooh, we got a very loose feeling. Uh, I can't remember what the name of this set is. Paradox Rift. Wow, sorry, my brain's really bad right now. My head's in like an actual fog. I thought this might cheer me up. It definitely is. And it's definitely doing it after that. <laughs> I can't complain. Oh, it's not that special arc. Oh, it mocks me. They mock me with Groudons that aren't the special arc Groudon. Oh, that would be actually nice to get. That is one I'm certainly looking for. I, again, even like the art rares. Like, I'd love the Minin and the Plusle. They're both freaking cute out of this with their like dueling sports team thing. All right, one more. Give me one more. I'm greedy. I'm really greedy. One more thing and make me really happy. Come on. Give me a... Oop, uh, what was that? Rourke. Rourke, terrible trainer. Actually, I should think he had... I saw someone do a... No, I'm right here. I saw somebody do a build of him with uh, Golden Go just because I really keep an eye on the Golden Go uh, deck list market. I, I, I kind of get how it worked, but... Uh, Either way, Mumbardier EX, a card that I think people thought were gonna was going to be a bit better, but I feel like um, the Parakeet... I can't remember his name, but the Parrot... The one that lets you ditch your hand and draw six. He's kind of been taking the spotlight, but this is uh, if you go first. You could use this attack on your first turn. Search your deck for up to three basic energy. Put them onto your bench. Uh, oh, three basic Pokemon, put them onto your bench. So it's kind of like a bench filler. I, I think while we still have um, Battle VIP Pass, it's still definitely going to be better. I think the other thing is we're getting a new card that's basically VIP Pass for 70 HP Pokemon or less. So... <laughs> I just don't really see super, too much utility for this. He's kind of a big, easy to knock out, uh, you know, bench sitter. Lightning's pretty popular right now with Mariadon still being around. He's just a risk, right? I mean, does it put back in your hand kind of thing for 130, which ain't bad, but getting that powered up is not fun. So, I don't know. Yeah, it makes sense why he's not really seeing the play you'd expect him to. Anyway, that was a really awesome chest. Let's 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 price it. See you in the next one. Peace.